everybody and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Emma. Um, it's really lovely to see you. If you enjoy my videos, then please don't forget to give them a big thumbs up and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's really lovely to see you all. Thank you um, for joining me again if this is not your first time. Um, I just like to take my earrings out. Look at them. Big buggers, aren't they? I've got a bit of a thing. I've got quite a, a fear of birds, right? And I've had these, <laughs> I've had these in today, been shopping, it's dead windy isn't it? And um, and they're lovely, they were from Primark like, oh god, years ago. But every time the wind's blown, they've like gone like that and I felt sort of like it was a bird and like shit myself. Because <laughs> he's been going like that, like, you know? <laughs> so I might take them out because I don't have my nerves. So note to self, don't wear them in wind. So, I am back with a charity shop haul and a size 14 try-on. Um, just bought a couple of things this week, try-on, uh, try-on wise, clothes wise. We have done a, um, it was like a Manchester challenge this week. We had to take my son to the Manchester, God, what's it called? The Royal Northern College of Music, the R... NCM, yeah, that's right. Um, on Tuesday, because he's at, he's that age where we're doing the whole university, you know, looking around the universities. What we didn't realise was we dropped him off and we buggered off shopping for eight hours. Picked him up at five o'clock, and when we picked him up, he was like, "You do realise <laughs> I was the only one there without my parents?" <laughs> and I was like, "Yeah, but look at everything I bought." <laughs> Um, so I think for the next couple, we've actually got to go and like go around the university with him. Um, so it's really difficult. I don't know how to advise him at all and crap at stuff like this. Basically, I just want him to stay at home and live with me forever at the minute. Um, so he will be 18 next February and then off to university in September. So it's just really difficult. If any of you have got any, you know, pearls of wisdom, please do share them because it's it's really hard um so anyway that aside so we dropped him off and i didn't want to go into manchester itself um because i just fancied doing like the like the cool i think it's like cafe culture type places which you know what i mean so we went to didsbury and we had breakfast in the most amazing place and it was called Fress. F-R-E-S-S -S, and it was absolutely beautiful it was stunning the decoration in there was absolutely stunning and the food was amazing I had eggs benedict I've never had anything like it in my life it was stunning um so then we shopped in Didsbury then we went to oh god I, th I think we ended up in Charlton we went to Sale did we go to Hale? Uh, no, we didn't go to Hale, we went to... S I think we went to Hale and we didn't go to Sale. <laughs> and then we ended up in Altrincham. Absolutely. Ace day. And it was so... The, the stuff in the charity shops was... It wasn't necessarily like... I wasn't blown away like, oh my God, I just want to buy everything. But it was just... It was fab to see like such different stuff. And obviously because it's very multicultural... The clothes are very multicultural as well and it was just amazing and um, I really, really enjoyed it. And my husband, bless him, just was like my little chauffeur all day and he was ace and we were literally like driving from one side of Manchester to the other. But everywhere you put in is like, it's one and a half miles away and then it's one and a quarter miles away. So it was like dead close but obviously you've got to like get there. Um, and we managed to get like free parking all day so it was ace but altering him at the end of the day. We went, and I don't know if you know Altrincham at all, I didn't. I went, I think the only time I've ever gone to Altrincham is when I was little and I went to the ice skating, and that is, like, actually the only time I've ever been there. Um, and there's, like, there's, it's like an old market that they've turned into, like, this urban, regeneration-y, chic place, and there's all, like, handmade gifts and crafts and basket weavers and florists and like silversmiths and 
um, there's like people saving pizza from pizza ovens and oh it's just brilliant and we'd kind of eaten by the time we got there but we're definitely definitely going to go back and, and eat there because it was just amazing so if any of you it was literally next to the Everyman cinema so if any of you are ever in Altrincham check it out because it was absolutely it was just it was brilliant and I was so mesmerized by everything it's my birthday next month I was like this is where I want to come this is where I want to sort of have a little mooch in a shop anyway as I do always I digress so um I bought um in I think I bought this in sale or hail I don't know where we went <laughs> it was one or the other and it's beach rules and I don't know who it's for I don't know if it's for me or if it's for a present um, so I haven't taken out of its thing yet because I love it. That was £1.50. And as you can see, little seagulls, I do, and obviously Mr. Seagull that I bought the other week, I do love a bit of seaside chic. Um, I can't, I, I kind of get a bit, I love seaside chic. I don't live anywhere near the seaside. Um, Oh, and especially when I've been to Cornwall, because we, we go to Cornwall every year, and I absolutely, I'd, I'd move that at the drop of a hat. I love it. Um, and whenever you stay in a house in Cornwall or an apartment in Cornwall, it's always like whitewashed and white curtains and seagulls everywhere and driftwood. And, and you come home and you just want to rip all your furniture out and start again. And then it gets to winter, and I'm glad I haven't got it like that, and I'm glad it's all cosy. And then it starts going into the summer again, and I'm like, oh, God, I need to get the seagulls back out. And so, um, yeah, so I think that may go, I think it might go in either in the bathroom or in here, in the bedroom, obviously in the bedroom, um, or on the landing, maybe, who knows? Who knows where it will end up? Um, and it might end up being a birthday present um, for somebody. And... And sticking with the seaside theme, I God. <laughs> I have smashed mugs. Um, I got these two mugs. How lovely are those? Originally from Sainsbury's. Oh, originally from Sainsbury's. <laughs> and they were a pound each, and they were from. Um, I think they were from Didsbury actually in a little tiny was it Sue Rider or Scope? I don't know. I took the things off because we've washed them and we've used them, but absolutely love them. They're really nice for tea because they're bone china. Um I have are they bone china? They might not be bone china. They're probably not bone china, are they? But they're like thinner china. Thinner, yeah. Because I've got a lot of Emma Bridgewater mugs and they're very thick. And I love them, but I love drinking coffee out of them. But I noticed, I had a cup of tea in one of these last night and noticed that my tea stayed hotter a lot longer because I think it's thinner china. So aren't you supposed to drink tea out of china? Something like that anyway. But anyway, pound, a pound. <laughs> um, oh. And then, weird, weird thing alert. Um, <laughs> it's a couple of bulbs by a company called Bomb Cozy, never heard of them, and all sealed in their box, 195 for two bulbs, unopened box, and these are 12 watt, but like that turn into 100 watts, so I don't really know how it works, it's all about lumens or something isn't it, um, it's going to cost me $1.93 for a year of energy. Because they, oh, anyway, it's all bollocks, isn't it? Um, <laughs> I have them on all the time, that's a problem. Um, but they're dusk till dawn lights, can candles, bulbs. <laughs> so apparently they have, it says, automatically turn on at dusk and automat automatically turn off at dawn. Now, we never really have to leave the lights on all night, but I'm such a lazy bitch. Last night we were... <laughs> watching telly and you know when you've started watching something and it's it you don't need your lights on and then by the time you're finished you could really do with your lights on I went okay I don't put my lights on because <laughs> they will have come on so 
I don't know if you're going to override them. That's the only thing. So we need to have a little play with them. But I have looked them up on um, Amazon. Well, I, I Googled it and they came up on Amazon. And they're like 18 quid a box for two. So they can go somewhere. Because all our bulbs are these. Because we've got all Ikea lamps and they're all them um, screwy any um, connection thing. <laughs> Um, and then, I've got a story for it. I am aware that I can't just go. And then I got this. And then I bought this. I have to tell you the whole backstory to what I'm about to tell you, don't I? It's what I'm about to show you. And I am aware of that. <clears throat> um, so, <laughs> I watched a youtube video it was a haul i think it was by a man called mr carrington who does like home um like quite a lot of upcycling i'll try and link the one i'm talking about in the description box below and he um went and apparently the shops all over the country we haven't got one local to us and that's why i've never heard of it called it's either tiger tiger or flying tiger i i don't really know what it is but it's I think it's Flying Tiger Copenhagen or Tiger Tiger Copenhagen. I think it, who knows? We haven't got one, so we don't know. But my friend Claire from work went, this is a shit story. I, I, my friend went somewhere at some point and they were having a sale and there was one, she was where there was a shop and she was in there and saw like a felt ball, it's felt balls, all dead bright colours into a square coaster and she bought it for me and she said it's one of those things I saw this and thought of you and I absolutely love it it's got red in it and it stands with my red cafetiere on the top that I bought in a charity shop and I love it and it's kind of been a bit of the inspiration for me wanting to have more like um just a bit more funky pieces in my kitchen really because it's I just want to try and move away from everything being a bit bland and a bit boring um so it's your fault, Claire. You're costing me a fortune. <laughs> um, anyway, I've got her. There. Um, I said to my husband last week, there's one in Shrewsbury, and Shrewsbury's probably the closest to us that there is across the country, because there's like a thousand in the country, but there's like not one within 40 miles of us. So um, I said to him, I want to go to Shrewsbury, and I want to go to this particular shop because I've heard loads about it. And um, Mr. this Mr. Carrington, did he take you into the shop? I think he might have, and showed you what was available. But it was insane after Christmas and everything was like two pound. So it's a bit ikea -y, I think, but I don't know if it's on a par price wise, whether it's cheaper, whether it's more expensive. We can't really work it out. Anyway, God, what a long, boring story that was about a shop I've never been to. <laughs> So, went into this chatter shop. Oh my god, these aren't going to get out alive, are they? And I saw these, which are, I mean, you know, I'm from the Potteries. My dad works for Emma Bridgewater. Am I a girl that needs more mugs? <laughs> but I bought more! <laughs> these, look at the shape of them. I mean, some people might hate them. I mean, they're massive. Look at that. Literally the size of my face. Um, <laughs> literally the size of my breasts. Um, but I just love them. And they were three pounds for the two. And the, the crux of this story and why I started it in the first place is that they are from Flying Tiger or Tiger Tiger. <laughs> um, and I bought them in um, Sail or Hail. <laughs> And we've had a couple of lattes in these. And my husband's like, oh, I feel like I'm sitting in some like urban chic coffee shop drinking this. So, yeah, we're not in the living room. <laughs> well, how ace are they? And I actually, I leave them out. I leave them stacked like that. I leave them stacked on the worktop next to me little um, pom-pom mat with my cafetiere. Just all cool like that. And they're ace. 
cookies, aren't they? Because I do like a bucket of coffee. So that was that. Next. This, this is the granny in me coming out. Inside me is a, you know, an 85 year old woman trying to get out. Um, Favourite drinks, a snowball and a, a tot of port. Honestly, um, you think I'm joking? <laughs> and I bought a valance sheet. <laughs> this is the kind of thing. Um, I always think of things like this. You know when we were planning to get married and my mum used to buy things like this and put them in my bottom drawer? Um, and I remember my nan. Do you know what I mean by bottom drawer? Like, not physically my bottom drawer, but like... It was like your kind of your starter pack for when you got married. I don't suppose you do it so much now because most people are living together. I mean, we were living together when we got married, but oh my God, how much of a tangent am I going off on? <laughs> anyway, it's a balance sheet, but it's a pleated balance sheet. But it's not like pleated like a pleated skirt. It's like box pleats. They're about that big. And there's about three up the side of each bed because we've got a divan bed. And it's quite old, although the mattress is new. And headboard I recovered because it was like a funny beige velvet velour. And it gone a bit funny. So I recovered that last year with velvet, the dark grey velvet. Um, and like I said, the mattress is new. But the bottom, the drawer part of the bed has seen better days. But there's nothing wrong with it. And I've been toying with the idea of a valance. Just, is it valance or balance? Shall I say valance? Does that make it sound a common? Is it balance? Anyway, I've been trying to... I've been struggling... Struggling. I am struggling. Um, I have been toying with the idea of a fitted valance sheet. Just to make the bed look a bit more finished off. And I've got gray, a grey throw that I... Oh, shit. Is that, God, that's one of them bloody mugs. Just thwacked me in the behind got a grey throw at the end of the bed that I put jauntily over the corner and won't be tired anybody if they move it and um, and I thought because I've got greyish walls and grey bits everywhere really so I thought well that will be perfect that was the grand total of 3 95 um, and yeah and I just think it's unopened unused sealed in its bag why would you not I'll whip it through the washing machine well, I probably won't. I'll probably just put it on. <laughs> it's not going near my skin. It's only going... No, I probably will put it on the washing machine. <laughs> that is a bit minging, isn't it? Um, and then, you know how I want to... Oh, do I look pregnant? Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Honestly, I have not, I've not been in work this... I have been in work. I'm in work. I'm in work on nights. Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. So I've been off this week with my husband and we feel like we've had like um, a bit of a ho mini holiday because we've done something different every day but basically you know that is um, bought and paid for cake this week and <laughs> this is what I'm going to eat after I've finished recording I bought it up while I'm editing <laughs> can't go to open Who's going to snap at the box? He's already had it. Oh, it's going to fall out. Look at that. Not just a single Danish pastry. A double whammy Danish pastry. Oh, I can't wait. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, you know I was saying that I'm, I was getting like a bit more... Like, not vibrant colours, but adding a bit of oomph to my kitchen because it, my kitchen's just grey. And it's, like I say, I've had it where it's been like I've tried to do the whole like minimalist thing and I cannot do that. Um, so I'm trying to go like chic now. I've told you, haven't I? Boho chic. So I'm going to show you these. These, oh God, um, giving you little teasers there. These are what I bought. I've had that from the um, car boot, haven't I? And that one, the velvet one, four of them, they were from the charity shop. And then, 
and this, which is John Lewis label still on with a feather in it. I put them down because you see them with a feather in it, in it, and that was five pound, and that was from the Oxfam, and I think that was in Didsbury. Was it? Oh, I'm so confused. I think it was. The Oxfam in Didsbury is the most beautiful shop I've ever been. Honestly, it's just stunning. Was it Didsbury? Am I doing it in injustice? I'm sure it was Didsbury. It had like, you walked into the clothes department and then it went through to the books and then it went through to homeware. And they had, oh, it was just gorgeous. Honestly, my eyes were everywhere. There was just so much that I probably could have bought. But you know, and you're like, no, I don't need it, I don't need it. And Oxfam do loads of like wicker and stuff, don't they? Like rag rugs and stuff like that that's actually new um, that they source. Um, and oh, some of it is absolutely beautiful. Um, oh, I want to buy some in there. Oh, got two bags on me now. Oh, bizarre. Um, so, and that was just sitting there, and I love it. Um, yeah, there were a, there were a few things in. There was a charity shop in Sale or Hale, um, <laughs> and they had a pink cushion, a pale pink, half like a half one, like that kind of width, but that length pale pink velvet edged in gold and it said love on the front in gold and I opened the zip and it said it, that it was originally from the range but it was seven pound and I thought oh god I've got my tongue <laughs> and I thought well you're probably really in the range you wouldn't be paying much maybe a tenner 12 tops but it had a pen mark on it, it had like a little biro mark on it then they had another cushion, which is one that I keep seeing in Ikea that I keep hankering over, which is like a pink, it's like, it looks like bubble wrap for want of, for want of describing it a better way, but it's like a pale, like a blush pink. Um, and they'd got the cuff, the cushion cover and a cushion inner in it. And they've got that for six fifty, And the cushion covers in Ikea are only four fifty. And you know, and you think sometimes, mm, are you having a laugh? And there was a top shop, just like a little cotton jacket, I suppose, like a blazery jacket, not lined, not particularly very nice, 15 quid they had on it. I was like, God, blimey. It was somewhere like the air ambulance or something like that. And you know, and you just think, they give charity shops a really bad name because you can't, you can't charge more in a charity shop than something probably costs new from the actual shop, you know. Um, so I saw me ask and came out there with nothing. Then I sat having a coffee, because again, we, all we did was eat and drink, having a coffee, thinking about the pink love cushion and going, oh, should I go back and get it? And in my head I'm thinking, yeah, but it's got Barrow on it, oh, yeah. it's £6.50, well, it's probably only £12 new, yeah, but it's still only £6.50. Well, if I bought it, then I'd have to move them cushion covers off there, I'd have to move that to there, and, then, and I thought we'd have to move my whole house around to accommodate this one pale pink cushion. I don't have any other pale pink in my house at all. So I was like, and my husband was like, what are you, what are you thinking about? I was like, I'm thinking about that cushion. It's like, for God's sake, we don't need any more cushions. When I come out with this, he was like, what have you bought that for? And I put it on the sofa. It's no room for a person. <laughs> I've got this. I've got four of them. I've got the pineapple. He's like, bloody hell. <laughs> um, and then, clothing. I've got two things. Oh, well, I've got, th I've got three things, including this. They had these that were in the Oxfam. They had loads of new stuff for the children. Um, they like working in... I'm calling it hairs. Working in partnership with Marks and Spencers. I think they do work in partnership with Marks and Spencers a bit, m and because I think if you donate anything that's from Marks and Spencers, you actually get a £5 m and voucher. Um, but they had quite a lot of new stuff and new socks and things that all had the M&S um, uh, labels on and things. 
and they were for my daughter and they're an opaque navy opaque actually has to wear navy for school in the winter but i thought when it's coming up for christmas and things they've got silver spots on and it's really difficult to find opaque tights for children and i don't really like cotton tights i don't think they've got any like they've never got any give in them and she comes home and her crotch is always down by her knees and you know whereas with these sort they do tend to i mean they'll be up to here on it um they but they, they stay up and they stay up because they're like attached like we'd attach them under a vest thing um and then i bought this which is like a linen top <laughs> um and this was four pound from i don't actually know it was i think it was just a very oh where was oh salvation army i'm just gonna say what's it yeah that's from the salvation army and with the white vest underneath with navy jeans or white jeans in the summer i think that'll look really nice again i'm going to show it you i'm going to style it up I'm gonna, i'll try it on my navy jeans i'll try it on my white jeans i don't think my white knickers are clean i've only got like one pair um <laughs> so um you might see me my gray pants through me white jeans but we'll we can live with it can't we um but i'll try that on it's really nice and then the final thing that i bought was a skirt um which you know stripes um, do you remember that advert? Stripes, paces. <laughs> if you don't, then, you know, Google it. Um, and it's it rolls over at the top. I have no idea where it's from originally. I have no idea. This has no label at all whatsoever in it. Again, I think, you know, like I've said to you before, there's a very generic company that, like, made in Italy. Um, I think, I mean, what does it say? Rodotto in Italia, which I'm assuming is made in Italy. Um, so, made in Italy. And then this has no label, no washing instructions, nothing. Um, I didn't know at first if it was a skirt or if it was a bandawi dress. Um, I don't want to do that when I do dress. But I don't think it is because I don't think that's wide enough to be a bandeau dress anyway I suppose you could um, but it's it's floor length well it's floor length on me and I am about five six and a half five seven something like that again I'll show you I've worn this today I've taken it off bought it with this because I've got me, got me good old joggers on now I don't know why, <laughs> why I went to Australia and then you, you're getting them all again aren't you um so I'm going to show you how I wore this as well um, and I can't even remember what I wore when we went to um, shopping. Oh, I can't remember. But if I can think what I wore, I'll have a little look in my wardrobe and think if I can think. And if I can remember what I wore for shopping, I'll show you that as well. Um, so that's, I'll, I'll go and get changed now. <laughs> I'll see you in a minute. So this is the skirt, obviously. So it's got like a little bit that you can turn over there um, and it's just obviously that goes all the way round. Um, perfect, perfect to have something that's, I mean, that's like ruffled across your tummy because if that's the bit, if that's the area where you hold your weight and that is totally where my weight goes, you know, bag of chips goes straight there. Um, so the, the blouse I'm wearing is the one I was filming it before, you can see the pattern on it, um, a white company blouse, I, unfortunately I did pay full price, no I didn't pay full price, it was in the sale, I paid about £20 for it at the end of last summer, um, I've had a lot of wear out of it and I really really like it um, and I just wear it, I always do, you know, La French tuck um, and then I'll go on my little stool god um and then just it's just lovely isn't it and i've got it on my white converse just to cash it down a little bit because you know I, I think in the summer with the vest top um it would probably look all right with and with like silver sandals i think that would look really nice but for this kind of transitional weather because it's not quite warm enough so i've had it on with my denim jacket which 
I realised today um, I bought when I was pregnant with my daughter who is nine this year. Um, so don't say I don't get my money's worth and this was from a charity shop. It's a size 10 so you know it was never ever ever going to fit me. It's originally from Gap but who, who fastens a denim jacket? Not me. Um, but I just thought that and then when we went to when we got my son from the university day that we didn't attend they gave them these bags do what you love so they say the royal northern college of music on the back there and do what you love well i love a slogan bag um so i haven't even taken my handbag out today i've just used that and i just think i am seriously going to break my neck in the name of youtube <laughs> <laughs> no crock. Um, yeah, so that's how I've wandered around town today. And I think that just looks really, really nice. Um, I love this skirt, absolutely. I never say it about everything, but I absolutely love it. And it's so nice not to have jeans on. Um, and then, I've got, I mean, I've got a vest on. I mean, I don't know what it'll look like with just a vest, but if you can imagine in the summer, Show the world my bloody bra now. Um, oh God. I mean, excuse the lumpy bumpy situation, but you know, if you were just, I'd probably need, oh, I could probably actually wear it out so that you kind of do a bit of a, a double whammy over there. You know, if it was a really hot summer's day, then you could just wear it like that. Bloody, um, oh gosh, what was he called? The Doughboy. <laughs> but do you know what? I, do I care? No, I don't care. Um, and if I cared, I wouldn't keep eating them cakes. <laughs> um, so that's that. And then um, I'll try this on and I'll pop this on with a couple of different things and see what you think. See you in a minute. And then this is the lemony top. As you can see, needs a bloody good iron. Oh, where's my necklace? Um, oh, can't bear that. You mean your things are on the front, your, your clasp. Um, these are not the most flattering um, trousers that I've ever owned in my life. These are chinos. I think I would prefer some sort of skinny jeans really because then I find them now they're in you know, there they're kind of they're not quite baggy enough they're not it doesn't help that I've got navy blue knickers on underneath um, <laughs> they're not they're just a bit of a funny in between thing really they don't know they're not baggy and they're not tight they're just sort of weirdly in the middle um so I'll show you so that's them with me that's them with me white chinos again just with me converse Belt, uh, Primark, I think. Jeans, charity shop, originally from Nex or Chinos. Um, but yeah, I like that. I think I'm probably going to prefer it with navy. I think that's a bit too pale. But then in the middle of summer, and again with some nice sort of, um, if you've got if you've got like a gold belt and then gold sandals or something, I think that could be quite nice in a gold bag. Is that a bit matchy matchy? <laughs> um, um, I'll try my dark jeans on. And then it's with navy, which I actually think looks better. I don't know whether it's just because I'm more confident wearing navy on my bottom half. I just maybe feel a little bit conspicuous in white jeans that are a little bit see-through. And you can see my navy pants. Um, but with these, and I don't know, the, the fit of these is just lovely. Again, these are from a charity shop. These are Dorothy Perkins. These are four pound. Um, had these ages and ages and ages. Um, again, Converse go with everything. And but again, in the summer would probably look really nice. Um, you know, with navy shorts, with denim shorts. It's just one of those things that's really easy to throw on, especially in days like this where it's not quite. Um, we're not quite. It's not quite warm enough. Um, so yeah. So. That's it, another another blooming marathon episode <laughs> um, and a little bit of uh, what happened this week. 
So like if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. I'm planning next week to do a bit of a home tour. God, it's only just goes in home tour. Um, <laughs> but I'm thinking of maybe doing the living room one time and the kitchen another, just so that I can kind of properly talk you through what we've done and where things are from and there's quite a few upcycled projects there's quite a few with well, a lot of charity shop purchases and i want to kind of be able to talk you through everything and show you everything properly so um i may change my mind but i may do that um so yeah so thank you so much for watching enjoy the rest of your weekend i am working as i said friday saturday sunday night so i will not be back in the land of the living i'll pro 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 probably try and upload something for you middle of next week so yeah, thank you so much for watching, which I said for the third time. <laughs> and um, please join me on my next random ramble. Um, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching four times, four times. <laughs> and take care till I see you next time. Lots of love.